Now that you've printed your tolerance testing tool with the default settings, we're going to see what effect the filament diameter has on our results. So if you click the advanced slicing options, and we're going to slide the filament thickness up to 1.75. And then we're going to turn support off. By changing the filament thickness, we're telling the 3D printer that our filament is thicker and that it should extrude less of it as it draws its lines. So this will make the lines thinner in the 3D print. This should increase our ability to remove the pins. So now I'm going to upload my file. Once the green check mark is there, my file is ready for printing. Now in order for this to be an accurate test, I have to upload that file to the same printer that I printed the original test file on. To do that with Octoprint and with FabHive, we're going to scroll down, find our file, and click the G code button. This will download our 3D print commands to our computer. Now we'll go to the printer that we originally printed on. I'm going to pretend that mine was printed on Octopi 1 and hit Control. Once the Octoprint page comes up, we can just drag our G-code file and drag it to the side of the screen that says Upload Locally. Okay. That's going to start the upload process, and if we scroll down, we can see the progress as it's uploading. Once our file is uploaded, we can tell it to sort by upload date, and I will see my file name at the top, and I can just click the print button, and that should start the print my file on the printer that I want. You also might want to go back and go ahead and archive your print so that it doesn't get grabbed by another printer.